Hey, alrighty, you are ready to start making an essay, and here with a beep, a lot of beep, is how we do it. So let's get ready. This is this is your how to make an essay. So I'm pretty sure when you hear the word essay, this is the picture you think about: drowning in a sea of words, sentences, and paragraphs. Well you have nothing to fear because you've done all the difficult work already. You're almost there. Don't give up now. Because really what you want to notice is that we have done all the work. You've set up the Google Doc. You know how to do a restate and answer. You have cited your evidence and you've written and explained. You've done all the work already and now we just need to basically write one more sentence. And that's our friend, the sum it up. This is where you conclude your work. Uh, it's just one more sentence, and it's a simple summary. Heck, I'm gonna even ask you to use a sentence starter, so some of the words are already done in that sentence. You don't even have to write a full sentence. I'm gonna give you some of the words to use. You're welcome. Oh, and then of course we gotta do an introduction, but introductions are simple. It's just a copy and paste sort of thing. So, this is your map. These are the directions. This is the way you're going to get to a three-paragraph essay, having a great big giant A-plus on that essay, and taking it home just before winter break. So, first, you got to do the work. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, honestly. So, hey, here's a student who's done all the work. I've asked three questions about our reading Hachiko, and you can see here the student has done the restate and answer. You can see here by simply by the quotation marks that they've cited their evidence. And they've, of course, done the explain using the sentence starter. This is interesting. This is interesting because trains have a lot of power to help them go fast and they could be loud. All right. Great. Thanks. This is done. This is, they've turned it in. It looks great. Fantastic. This was A+. Plus. I mean, I sent it back to them to get some stuff done, but they gave it back to me, so it's an A+. Plus. That's how we do this game. Next, we're going to add a sentence called the sum it up. Now, if you look back on the wall of writing, you can see all the steps to do it, but let's just review right here. You want to conclude your answer. The great way to do that is connect to the restate and answer, but you want to use different words. And of course, always use sentence starters. Uh, in conclusion, that's why, and in summary. Okay? Let me show you what I mean by this. Look at this student. He used in conclusion for his sum it up sentence. In conclusion, kids like trains because they are big and powerful. Great. He connected it to here. Oh, look, powerful. Great. Uh, their next paragraph, the student used that's why as a sentence starter in their sum it up. So let's read that. That's why the connection between human and pets is so important. Oh, look, and right here, one thing special would find to come back. Yes, he's connected it to his restated answer. And finally, in his last paragraph, his last sum it up, he uses the sentence starter in summary. Look, in summary, learning to be resilient is valuable. Oh, look, resistant, not give up. That's the same word as resilient. That's great. He connected it to his, great, perfect, awesome. Let's move on. So let's add an introduction. Introduction might be a little bit easier than you think. It's copy and paste. Look. Right here, kids like trains because they are big and powerful. Copy and paste, kids like trains because they're big and powerful. You wouldn't want to copy and paste the in conclusion because if you're starting your paragraph off that says in conclusion, that's just weird children. Very, very weird. Look, uh, the connection between human and pets is so important. The connection between human and pets is so important. Learning to be resilient is viable. Learn to be resilient is viable. Really, you want to see your introduction and your conclusion as sort of the hamburger buns, and all this stuff is the juicy, juicy, in and out narrative. Oh, also, again, we write our introduction uh, last. Again, only a weirdo writes their first sentence first. <laughs> Silly kids. So, spelling and grammar, 
eh, make sure there's no red and blue lines. Mm, I don't see any red and blue lines here, do you? Oh, no, okay. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put a big A plus on this student's paper. Maybe up here I'll write something like, great job, way to go, you did it. I knew you could get it done, you're so awesome, way to go. You know, that teacher stuff that teachers do. So really, we're taking small steps to greater success. We've taken the smallest steps by even learning how to set up a header, how to do Google Docs, learning about the restate and answer, how to cite evidence using an explain, how to put it all together in, um, you know, when I ask you a question. And then now I'm just asking you to do a sum it up and a conclusion. So friends, students, that kid, here you go. I'm giving you the directions. I'm giving you the compass to success. Um, are, are you going to use it or are you not? And I think the choice is up to you.